Hello, world. Welcome to the day of morning for hope. In Philippines and hello, world. Sensya na po at hindi na shift ang mic. Uh, good morning and welcome to your daily dose of inspiration and instructions coming from the Word of God. And this is your morning so hope. Kumusta po? Good morning po sa lahat. And to those who are here already since kanina pa, magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. And we are so grateful and we are so thankful na ang bakit isa po ay nandito sa umaga nito. Kaya good morning, good morning po sa inyo. And as we are getting ready for today, can we just express our excitement by pressing that like and heart and wow button several times down below as we are ano po, um, express, expressing our excitement and our gratitude that God has given us this wonderful and blessed day. Amen? Uh, good morning sa lahat ng nasa Facebook, na nasa YouTube. Good morning, good morning po sa inyong lahat. And um, if you are here for the very first time, I am Dr. Mervin Ascabana. I'm a doctor of medicine by profession. But at the same time, I'm also the senior pastor of North Point City Church together with my wife, Pastor Monel. And we are grateful na dito ka po sa umagang ito. Uh, share na po natin if hindi pa po natin nasi-share yung ating link. And let's start tagging those who are still not here. Good morning, good morning sa ating lahat. <clears throat> and sa mga ano po, sa lahat po ng... Salita po, ayusin ko lang yung audio ko konti. Um, okay. Yan. Okay, again, once again, good morning. And sa lahat ng kakatsun in lang, good morning po sa inyo. At sa lahat po na nagsisend ang mga stars since kanina pa. At hindi ko po nababasa, pasensya na po. Uh, at hindi ko, if hindi ko man nabasa, pasensya na. And we are thankful for uh, for your constant and continuous support sa ating live stream. Good morning. Ang first commenter po natin na mabibigyan po natin ng 50 pesos load ay si Adicelia Miranda of Canberra, Australia. Good morning po Adicelia and maraming salamat po for uh, continuous, uh, continuously uh, patronizing or joining us every single morning dito po sa ating morning support and we are grateful po talaga for your life and your family that you are constantly uh, joining us every single morning. Maraming salamat po kay Myra Langa Adobas at 200 stars as well. Good morning po sa inyo. Once again, Atiselia, good morning. And send us po uh, the number that we will load para po maloadan po namin. God bless you more po. Pastor, uh, kay Pastor Adelia Yap, good morning. From Sambonga City. Kay Honey Grace Lambikit Curita, good morning po sa inyo. Kay Sheila Amore Bahaw, good morning. Kay Pastor Burley Yap of uh, Sambonga City, good morning din. Neng Corpus, good morning. Maraming salamat sa 45 stars. God bless you, kapatid. Kay Becky Ganding man lang, good morning po sa inyo. Kay Lita Labutap, good morning. Kay Ayan Ikaw Mags, Robinson Chu of Pagalian City, good morning. Romeo Penaso, Ting Ting of Pagalian City, Jessica Jeng of Tarlac, good morning po. Kay Myra Langa Adobas, good morning. Kay Mems Imastirai. Good morning kay Mim, uh, Mirna Pabro Igara, Norisel Garcia of Santa Rosa, Riza May Ampuan. Good morning. Atitay Stardo of Pagalian City. Good morning. Robinson Chu, maraming salamat po sa 50 stars. God bless you more po. Virgie Vargas of Pagalian. Maria Marisa Tugan, Ileni Catoria of Sumbongal City. Good morning po sa inyo kay Michelle Floresca, La Chica of Pulio Island, Quezon. Charlito, good morning at maraming salamat sa 500 stars. Happy to hear that you are already going out from your quarantine and happy to know that you are negative. God bless you, kapatid. Take care palagi. Connie Ortega, maraming salamat po sa 49 stars. <coughs> God bless you more. Melfe Bandal of Saudi Arabia, good morning. Gayin Al Nisar of Hong Kong, good morning po sa inyo. Kay Princess Evangelista of uh, Pagadian City, good morning. Kay Russell of Pagadian, good morning. Annabelle Proferos Batilaran, good morning po sa inyo. Kay Juana Castro Mayor, good morning. Jun Ray Narit of, Pagadi, of CDO, good morning. Good morning din kay Ma'am Norisel, again, good morning po sa inyo. Norisel of Santa Rosa Laguna, Connie Ortega, Ryan La Laguna, good morning. Kay Aim Neil Tan Lim, Alman Lopez, Rosalita um, Inda Cañete of Sumbonga City, Neke Ocoso of Edmonton, Canada, Inda Cañete of Sumbonga City, Jeffrey Yamba of Pagalian, Excellent Chakalibo, Jessica Jeng, again, good morning po. Kay Doctora Maria Rovel Blanchard, good morning po, Doctora, and the whole Blanchard family. 
Aileen Roa Yamba of Bagirian City. Good morning, Celeste Moneta, Bernardita Modino, and then Corpus. Okay, Mami Jewa, Sister Jewa Yamba Sabado of San Francisco, California, and Brother Danny. Good afternoon, po. Kumusta po kayo yan? Maram salamat po sa gift na or sa package na pinadala, pinadala nyo, na natanggap na po namin dito sa, pag- sa pagadian. And we are really grateful and God bless you more po and to the whole family. Maraming salamat kay Cindy sa Stars and kay Earl Alistair Aguirre sa Stars. God bless you more. God continually uh, abound in your life. And uh, once again, Mami Jay, maraming salamat po and God continually bless you. And kay Brother Danny continually declaring full healing and breakthrough sa kidney disease niya and we are believing for full recovery in Jesus name by the blood of Jesus. Salamat po once again. Um, looking forward na makauwi na po kayo na pagadian one day. Maria Luz Maniago, good morning. Kay Brett Gan- Gan- Ganbia Oren of uh, CDO, good morning Brett and to Beth. Kay Maria Luz Maniago again. Gwen Galior of Taguluan. <coughs> Mary Grace Carillo, so Peter Carillo, good morning po. Josie Gonzalez of Bulacan, Arden Perez of Senya, Annie Rivera of Liliu Laguna, Mary Ann Dandoy Bungkawil. <coughs> Good morning po. Good morning din kay Jacqueline Pamaran. Good morning. Good morning po sa inyo. Good morning kay Chrislyn Dumangas, Charmaine Miano. Good morning. Good morning din kay uh, Yin Alnesar, Joseph Intong of Pagadian City, Vanessa Itong of Pagadian Niza Las Piñas Maricel Sikad um, Brother Jojet Lani Santos Orville Ascabano Ruel Di Quina Evelyn Llanares um, Jeffrey Apiot Yamba Good morning Okay, Martina Resines Sagilayan Good morning po Lita Labutap Good morning, good morning Senor Lahat Maricel Sikad Sheila More Bajau Um, Rachel Zonio Rodriguez E.M. Galicinao Good morning po kay Jen uh, Attorney Jen Good morning kay Joel And kay Queenie of City of Jovi Gomez of, of Ozamis Kay Sister Elizabeth Cadudho of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Good, good afternoon po dyan sa inyo And last but not the least Okay, okay. Mavi of uh, Manila. Good morning po. Sister Elizabeth, maraming salamat sa 100 stars. Good morning, good morning sa inyo kay G. Diaz. Good morning po. Josiah Bitol, good morning. Kat uh, Encisa, good morning. Philip Montero, good morning. Okay, hanggang dyan lang po muna tayo. Pasensya na sa mga hindi naabutan. The ati pong shoutout. And right now, let's get... Ready to worship the Lord, let's express our gratitude to the Lord for His goodness in our life. Come on, let's worship Him together.
sing it there. By your spirit, I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King, oh, He's resurrected.
Amen. Indeed, the resurrected King is resurrecting us. No, okay, kaya po we can overcome our challenges. We can overcome ano man po yung mga mga bagay na dinadaanan po natin ngayon because alam po natin na God Himself has overcame sin and death, and that is why we have also the power to overcome those challenges. Death nga natalo ni Jesus yung pagkayang problema natin dito sa mundo. Amen. Wala pong bagay na hindi natin kaya ma-overcome. Kasi po ay talagang napanalo na po ni Jesus yan sa cross. Kaya keep on holding on to the promises of God. Kasi for sure, one day lahat po ng promise ng Lord ay matutupad po yan sa buhay natin. Amen. Good morning, good morning po sa lahat. To those who have just tuned in, good morning and welcome to your daily dose of inspiration and instructions coming from God's Word. Your mornings of hope. Amen. And patuloy po tayong mag-ingat uh, mga kapatid. Ano po, patuloy po tayong mag-pray, sa, lalo na sa sitwasyon po natin ngayon. Several hospitals uh, uh, have in, Mani- uh, in Sumbuanga City has already start, uh, stopped admitting patients. Uh, specifically because puno- punuan na po sila. Yung iba naman po is exclusively na lang na tumatanggap ng mga COVID patients. Kasi yun po yung parang uh, naka, nakalaan na lang ng mga rooms na uh, kumbaga yun na lang po yung rooms na, 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 na kaila, ka, i-accommodate nila kasi punuan na rin po yung mga rooms na, na, na prepare nila for other diseases. Kaya so, uh, kailangan pa po tayo, talaga po nating mag-ingat. So mag-apply, uh, keep on applying the blood of Jesus, keep on praying and keep on maintaining your our uh, yung ating buong mga physical ways of trying to defend ourselves and our family from the threat of this virus. No, it's still so alive and kicking po ang virus na ito. Kaya hindi pa po tapos, tapos ang laban na ito. Kaya kailangan po ng ating cooperation para tuluyan po nating mas, ma, ano, ma keep safe ang ating mga sarili at ating mga pamilya. And kahapon po, nabanggit ko po na uh, sisimulan po natin officially within this week or next week yung ating tinatawag na baskets of hope. And kahapon, meron pong isang family uh, dun sa pagadian na binalita po sa amin kasamahan sa trabaho ng ating isa sa ating mga members ay buong pamilya nila ay nagka, ano po, nagka, unfortunately ay nagka-COVID. Kaya, we started praying for them and at the same time yung baskets of hope po natin uh, uh, we started also doing that as well um, binigyan po natin ng konting tulong in terms of mga vitamins and uh, at the same time no pagkain po uh, in a way na makatulong po sa kanila hindi naman as much but we know in our own little way that's our way of letting them know that we are praying for them that we are also uh, they are part of our our hearts and we are continually supporting them in whatever way we can. Kaya maraming salamat sa mga naging part of that. Okay, this morning po, mapapatuloy po tayo sa ating series entitled Purpose, Priority, and Promise. And we are on the topic, uh, on our text about how Abraham followed God's instructions. Uh, nagsimula po yan kay Terah, Terah being the father of Abraham. Terah took his son Abraham his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, the wife of his son Abram, and together they set out from the Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. And Terah lived 205 years, and he died in Haran. So, ganun lang po kakonti ang kwento ng buhay ni Haran, I mean, ni, ni Terah, kasi wala naman siyang significant na nagawa eh. Wala siyang significant na naging impact sa mga tao lalo na sa mga family sa mga even sa directly related sa kanya hindi po siya naging impactful and even hindi po siya nag-impact sa para kay Lord na hindi na po siya sinulat kung ano man po yung mga nagawa niya so hanggang doon lang po dalawang chapter I alawin mean, na long verses lang ang kwento ng buhay ni Tera and so after 205 years namatay po siya and then it was the time for his son Abram in Genesis chapter 12, the Lord has said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you, and I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. So, ito na po yung fulfillment ng promise. Kasi si Abram, he was willing to follow God's purpose. He was willing to follow 
and making it His priority. Kaya ang the promises I will make you into a great nation, I will bless you, and I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. So, the buck did not stop with Abraham. The blessing did not stop with him. The reason why he was blessed, because he was designed to be a channel of blessing, to be a river, not just a container. A container simply receives the blessing, and the blessing stops with him. But a, a channel or a river is daluyan ka ng, ng, ano, ng panalangin. Uh, ng, ng, <laughs> panalangin. ng biyaya ng Lord. Panalangin kasi is sa Bisaya, a blessing. But sa Tagalog, ang panalangin is prayer. So, daluyan ng, ng, ano, ng biyaya. So, ang river, as uh, we are designed not just to be a container or a reservoir, but we are designed to be a river. And that is what God wants us to function. And that is how God wants us to function. And so, si Abraham po, very evident na ito po yung gusto ng Lord na gawin niya. Na mag-function siya as a river. So, sabi ng Lord, I will bless you. And through you, no, I will bless other people. Imagine, all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. So, yun pala yun. Kaya ka pala, sobrang yaman ni Abraham. Kasi naging daluyan siya ng blessing. Yaman po ba? Naging daluyan siya ng, ano, ng pagpapala. Naging daluyan siya ng biyaya. Kung baga, hindi niya lang in-enjoy yung biyaya para sa kanya. He made sure na nag-flow ito hanggang papunta sa mga taong nangangailangan nito. And indeed, that is what ha- what that is what what happened here. And eventually, if babasahin mo yung, yung buhay ni Abraham, he continued to be a blessing. And no wonder why yung lupain niya is literally nagiging, ano po, no? nagiging unlimited. If, if there is such a term, ano po, sabi kasi ng lahat ng makita mo sa'yo yan. Every place, he, uh, every place he set his foot upon, it became his. Sobrang yaman niya, dami niyang livestock, and he became one of the richest, if not the richest person at that specific time. He was so rich that he was able to bless others as well. So, yan po yung uh, tinatch natin kahapon that we are blessed to be a blessing. Then in verse 4, so Abram went. So, ganun lang po kasimple. Ano po? Para kay Abram, wala nang maraming tanong pa. Kung ano yung sabi ng Lord, wala nang excuses, no excuses. And that's, he, he just simply applied it. He just simply followed the Lord. So Abram went, and as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him, Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. She took his wife Sarai, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Yun, na-fulfill niya yung pinagawa ng Lord. Minsan kasi uh, sa buhay po, dami pong mga obstacles. Ang daming mga bagay na pwedeng humila sa atin pababa. Pero focus po tayo dapat sa purpose natin. Make sure na hindi lang natin gawin, pero tapusin talaga natin yung pinapagawa ng Lord. Amen? So, Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Mori at Shechem at the time the, Can- the Canaanites were in the land. And then in verse 7, then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring, I will give this land. Ito maganda. Kasi naging, uh, si Abram po naging um, obedient. Hindi lang sa kanya binigay yung land. God made sure na hindi lang si Abram ang, bib- ang mabibless. But his offspring, offsprings will be blessed as well. Kaya ang ginawa ni Abram, bagamat wala pa pong anak si Abram sa panahong ito, he already built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. And from there, he went on toward the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent. And with Bethel, Bethel on the west and I on the east, there he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward the Negev. Makita mo dito na alam ni Abram na ang reason na nabless siya, hindi kasi magaling siya. It was because of God's favor in his life. Kaya yung unang response niya is to worship the Lord. He built an altar. Alam niyo po ba yung pag-worship, yung pagkakanta ng mga songs, hindi lang po yan parang sinabi mo, di ba? Hindi lang po yan parang intermission. Hindi po yan parang 
maging maganda lang yung program natin na may kantahan. Hindi po. Yung songs po na pinapatutog natin dito, mga songs that we are singing, this is not just intermission or pampalipas oras. This is expressing our gratitude to the Lord. It is magnifying God. Because sometimes we magnify our problems so much that it seems like our problems are bigger than God. Paano ba natin na magnify ang problem? The more we talk about it, the more we think about it, and the more we problematize our problems, if there's such a word. Yung the more na pinoproblema mo ang problema mo, problema na nga, proproblemahin pa, yun po yung ibig sabihin ng minamagnify mo, pinapalaki mo, than what it really is. And because we keep on thinking about it, we keep on talking about it, the bigger it becomes than what it really is. And so, sa panahon na may problema, don't magnify the problem. Magnify God. And every time you worship God, you are magnifying God and you are uh, de describing how big He is, how powerful He is in your life. Just like uh, what we were si singing kanina, ano po? No? Yung, the resurrected King is resurrecting me. No? By your Spirit, we will rise. And, and those declarations, no? Yun po, yun, we are declaring the uh, the awesomeness of our God, the bigness of our God, the power of our God. And the more you declare that, the more you worship the Lord, you are magnifying Him. And you are focusing your eyes on God rather than your problems. Because whatever you focus your mind into, everything else becomes blurred. Pag saan ka nakafocus, the rest becomes blurred. Tama po ba? No? Kung titingnan mo, nakafocus ka sa isang bagay, ang lahat po ay nagiging ano, blurry. Kung sabi saya pa, mahanap ang tanan. Ang imong pananaw, kung nakafocus o sa kabutang, the, the one thing that your eyes is focused on, it becomes so clear, it becomes big, and others become small, and the rest becomes blurred. Amen? So when we focus our eyes on God, Walang fear, hindi ka magtatakot, hindi ka magwa-worry, hindi ka magiging anxious because you're focused on the bigness and the greatness of God. And that is what Abram did. Ang ginawa niya po instead of um, instead of just relying on his in on his wit, on his ability, he worshiped the Lord. Before po siya nagpatuloy, he built an altar. Yung pagpapatayo niyo po ng altar doon is simply magnifying God, worshiping the Lord, and thanking Him for giving Him that land. Mga kapatid, what would be your first reaction when God would bless you? What would be your first reaction when you go through trials, when you go through problems? Alalahanin natin, no? Pagdating po sa mga problema, minsan kasi ang prayer natin, Lord, tanggalin mo itong problema ito. But little did we know that actually God allowed those problems because He wants us to go through it because it's the only way for us to become stronger. And it's all the only way for us to move to our next level. And most of the times, God will not remove the fire from us. He will allow us to go through the fire. But the good thing is, He will step into the fire with us. Kaya, no, wag mong i-desire na, Lord, tanggalin mo na ito. Ang i-desire natin, Lord, tulungan nyo ako. Bigyan nyo ako ng lakas na masolve ko po ito. Tulungan nyo po ako na masolve itong problem na ito. Amen po ba? Because there's really no other way. Kailangan nating harapin ang problema. Walang tatakas sa problema. Because the more you escape from your problems, the more your problems becomes bigger. The more po siya lumalaki, the more po siya parang mas mahirap na siyang solusyonan. Eh, uh, unfortunately, meron tayong, meron tayong tendency na ano eh, meron tayong tendency na, na tinatawag kong escape mentality. We would rather escape from the problems than face it head on. No? Mas gusto pa nating takasan, takbuhan, kalimutan, itulog na lang. And unfortunately, kahit tulugan mo yung problema mo, pagising mo bukas, nandyan pa rin yan. E ang mas malala, if the pro your problem is money, kinabukasan, 
Aba, baka magkaka-interest pa. Kaya walang tatakas sa problema, harapin po natin. Amen? Yun yung sabi ni Bishop Aurel, embrace the fire. Don't run away from the fire, embrace the fire. Because God is testing us, purifying us. It's one way to prove that we are pure. It's one way to prove our strength when we pass to the fire. Amen? So, when there is fire, when we are being tested, don't run away from the test. Face the test and ask God to be with you. And know and realize that God will be stepping with you as you step into the fire. Amen? So, when you step into the fire and you are able to solve it with the grace, by the grace of God and with God's help, You will come out on the other end, purified, better, and on to your next level. Amen po ba? Kaya as you go through the fire, as you go through the furnace, as you go through tests in life, no, don't forget to build an altar. Don't forget to magnify God. No, can we just say it sa baba? Don't magnify your problems. Magnify God instead. Huwag mong i-magnify. Huwag mong palakihin ang problema mo. Ang palakihin natin si God. No? Bagamat uh, dinidiscuss po natin ang COVID at paano natin siya ma-overcome, it does not mean na dinidiscuss natin siya namin na magnify natin siya. It's just that we are stating the facts of how it is attacking so that we will know how we can defend ourselves. But we keep on talking about God being more powerful than any other force in this earth. Amen po ba? So, when we talk about COVID, we're not saying it kasi natatakot tayo. Of course not. We're saying it so that alam natin paano ipotect natin yung mga sarili. At kasi kailangan din natin ng right knowledge because in the absence of knowledge, when we are ignorant of something, then it will cause our destruction. But even if we are in this season right now na napakatinding challenge, napakatinding fire, Uh, know and believe that God is fighting this battle with us. And we just simply have to embrace it. Embrace po natin to. Part 2 ng test eh. Part 2 ng process of refining us and proving to God that He is powerful than anything. So as you step, as we step into this problem, allow God to step in with you. Amen? So magnify the Lord. Pasalamatan natin si Lord. While you are going through the fire, while, while we are going through this test, no, let's magnify God. Lord, thank you for your strength. Lord, thank you for stepping into the fire with me. Lord, I need your strength. I need uh, your encouragement. I need your instructions. What should I do? So that is magnifying the Lord. And that is what Abram did. He built an altar even if He was still, he, hindi niya pa po nakukuha yung buong blessing niya. He was already doing his purpose and prioritizing God more than anything. Nakaprioritize na po si Lord sa buhay niya. And that's the, the, the reason na nagka-breakthrough po siya. So, more about purpose po na nabanggit ko na po ito. Pero gusto ko pong balikan kasi actually hindi pa po ito tapos. The greatest tragedy in life is not death but a life without a purpose. And we have discussed that already a few days ago. And unfortunately, people want success without even knowing what their purpose is. And that's the reason that they feel that they are not successful. They may be successful in the definition of the world, but they are not contented. They feel, they still feel dissatisfaction. That's the very reason na ang dami pong tao, successful na sana. They have what we are desiring and yet they are still sad. Even to the point that they get so depressed that they take their own life. Nagpapakamatay sila. No? Mga we have heard of famous celebrities uh, here and abroad and even in other nations. No? Mayaman na mayaman na. Nasa kanila na lahat. Kasikatan, no? kayamanan, lahat na. Lahat na dinidesire ng tao. Pero why, why is it still that they reached a point in their life that they still feel depressed and they take their own life? Why? Because they were successful in the things 
that they were not created to do. That's a, that's really a tragedy. Na yung yung tipong akala mo yun na yun. Pero nang naging successful ka, hindi ka satisfied. You know why? Because they don't even know what their purpose is. Kaya the, tra- the greatest tragedy in life is not death, but a life without a purpose. So know your purpose. And the only way to know your purpose is go to your source. Let's go to our source and let's ask our source, Lord, what is my purpose? Balik tayo sa gumawa sa atin. Tanungin natin si God. Lord, ano ba yung purpose ko dito sa mundo? Let's consult our Creator. Kasi only our Creator knows what our purpose is. Amen? Balik tayo dun sa source natin. Siya lang nakakaalam kung anong purpose natin. Amen po ba? Kaya when purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Na-abuse natin buhay natin. Na-abuse natin yung time natin. Hindi natin na, na, nagagamit ng husto. You know why? Because we don't know our purpose. But when you know your purpose, every every hour that you spend, every minute that you spend doing becomes memorable, becomes significant. Because you know you're doing it for a higher purpose. Amen? So, once you know your purpose, do it. Huwag mo nang i-delay pa. Gawin mo na. Yan yung magbibigay ng significance sa buhay mo. Yan yung magbibigay sa iyo ng real success. Yung totoong success. Hindi yung success na definition ng mundo. But yung success na talagang galing sa Lord. Kasi ang success na galing sa Lord is yung magbibigay sa iyo ng significance kasi alam mo, Naging successful ka sa isang bagay na pinagawa ng Lord para sa iyo. Amen. Remember this that we were placed on earth to fulfill a purpose and that purpose is what gives you meaning to our lives or what gives meaning to our lives. You were sent to the world to make an impact and make a difference. Chat is gunandok sa inyo kahapon, di ba? Mas maigi pa yung tayo yung nagre-rescue. Kaysa tayo yung nire-rescue. Kaya tayo po na healthy, tayo po ang mag-pray doon sa mga may mga sakit. Amen? And let's, let's really pray for them. And not only pray for them, let's help them in our own simple way. Kaya, kaya po talaga we are grateful sa idea no, na bigay ng Lord kay Pastor Ramonel yung, yung baskets of hope. That every time meron po tayo mga kakilala sa pagdiyan at sa CDO, and if you're from your city, no, I, I would really suggest you do that as well. You can adopt this um, program or adopt this uh, kumbaga way of making an impact and being significant to our community. So, sinimula na po namin kahapon, kahit hindi pa po natin officially na low launch. No, no, may nalaman po kami na may nagkasakit na na pamilya ng COVID ay binigyan po namin ng basket of hope. May mga pagkain, may vitamins at mga kailangan po nila. And we have given it to the family already. And that is why, no, again, when you know your purpose, it is about loving God and loving people. When you begin to help others, It, and it makes an impact in their in their lives. I tell you, you are making a difference. And you may say, eh, Pastor, isa lang naman yan, eh, dami kayo nagkakasakit. Yes, we know na hindi natin kayang matulungan lahat. But at least we made a difference to that person or to that family. I remember one time there was this two, two ano, there's a story of these two friends. Dalawang magkakaibigan. They were walking on the seashore. And then there are there are lots of starfishes on the seashore. E napakainit. Medyo malayo. Yung mga starfish kasi, uh, the more po sila exposed sa sun na mainit, na walang tubig, na walang sea, na mamatay sila eventually. E low tide. E hindi, hindi umaabot yung water dun, dun sa dalampasigan. So ang dami pong ilang libong starfish 
ang nandoon sa may seashore na walang water. So eventually, maybe in a span of a few a few hours, mamamatay na sila. And so this these two friends were walking by the sea uh, by the sea the, the seaside or the seashore and and there were thousands of uh, starfishes there. And so this one friend or this one boy, he was getting those starfish and throwing it back to the sea. So pinupulot niya yung mga starfish at tinatapon niya dun sa sea. And while he was throwing it, paisa-isa niyang tinatapon, sabi nung kaibigan niya, What are you doing? Sabi niya, I'm, I'm helping the starfish survive. I'm throwing it back to the sea para mabu- mabuhay naman sila. Sabi niya, Ang dami kaya nito. Tinan mo, galing dito hanggang doon. Lang libo yan, hindi mo yan kaya. Do you think a few of that would make a difference? It would not even make an impact. Ilang percent lang yan yung naitatapon mo compared to the tens of thousands of starfishes on this seashore. But you know what? This boy, he did not stop. He, he still was throwing those starfishes back to the sea. <coughs> and as he was throwing it, then again, the friend was like, you're not even making a difference to the, to the rest. Because what you are throwing are just so small compared to the total number of starfishes that are here. But you know what he said? Yes, I know. It may not make a difference to all of the starfish here. But at least I made a difference to this one. And then he threw the starfish to the water. That is so true. We may not be able to really help everyone. And that's reality. We have limited resources. We have limited capabilities. But we know at least we have made a difference to somebody's life. Amen? Ganun po. Ang loving God, loving people. We know that we may not be able to help everyone, but at least we will make a difference to somebody. Kaysa we have not done anything to anybody. Amen po ba? So I want you to get that, that you are here on this earth to fulfill your God-given purpose. And when you do your purpose, that will give meaning to your life. Di ba palagi ka na nagtatanong, Lord, ano, talaga, ano bang meaning ng buhay? That's the reason na malungkot po ang tao. Kasi hindi nila nga alam eh, ano ang purpose nila. Pag hindi mo alam ang purpose mo, walang meaning ang buhay mo. But the moment you know your purpose, nagkaka-meaning ang buhay mo, gagawin mo yung purpose mo. And ngayon na nagkaka-meaning na yung buhay mo, the more you do your purpose, nagkaka-impact ka. And you are starting to make a difference in people's lives you will begin to make an impact and make a difference. Amen po ba? Even if sa daming nagpapapray, eh yung isang tao pinagpray mo, hindi mo man napagpray sila lahat, but at least yung one person na pinagpray mo, you made a difference in that person's life. Amen po ba? Our strength may be limited, our ability may be limited, our scope may be limited, but that will not give us the reason to stop loving God and loving people. The more po tayo, the more po tayo gagawa ng ating purpose. Amen? When it comes to our purpose, purpose is when you know and understand what you were born to accomplish. Ang purpose po is pagkakaalam at pagintindi mo kung ano yung reason na pinanganak ka dito sa mundo. Yung tipong masasabi mo, ha, I was born for this. You know what? When we we responded to God's call for our lives to become to become pastors, many pastora monel. And then when we started doing doing it, it, there were hardships, there were severe trials. But we were just simply enjoying it. 
kahit mahirap hanggang ngayon po kahit napaka-challenging we are enjoying every step of the way because we know we were born for this i was born for this listen to this mga kapatid you were born to do something you were born to accomplish god's plan for your life ang, ang sarap kasi ng feeling na alam mo ito yung purpose na pinanganak ka dito sa mundo eh hindi mo sasabi mong, I was born for this. Yung challenge mo, you were born to face that. Kasi nga, no, ang ganda ng hinanda pa ng Lord sa unahan. We were born to glorify God. We were born to magnify God. Pinanganak ka na yung magnify ang Lord to fulfill your purpose and to glorify God by doing your God-given purpose. So, it is knowing and understanding what you were born to accomplish. That purpose was given to you so that you can accomplish it. Can we just say it down sa baba? I was born for this. <laughs> no, ano yung challenge mo? <laughs> you were born to face that. And kung ano man yung assignment mo, you were born to fulfill that. I was born for this. We were born for this. Pinanganak po tayo. Para ma-accomplish po ito. And I tell you, the moment you start doing and accomplishing what you were born for, dyan po magsisimula ang real na fulfillment sa buhay. Amen? So, I was born. We were born for this. Vision is when you see it in your mind and begin to imagine it. Amen po ba? Circumstances are, and crises are God's tools to move you into your purpose and the maximizing of your potential. Yeah. Yan po yung sinasabi ko kanina. Ina-allow po ng Lord yung mga circumstances, yung mga crises sa buhay natin para ma-move po tayo sa ating purpose. Minsan kasi, kailangan pa nating gisingin eh. Kasi nadideviate tayo. Lumalayo tayo sa ating God-given purpose. Minsan, nagiging busy tayo sa mga bagay na hindi naman pinagawa ng Lord para sa atin. <clears throat> and because we were busy on the wrong things, God sometimes allows problems and circumstances and trials and crises para po ma-realign po tayo. And I believe that is what is happening right now in the whole world. God is realigning His people back to their purpose, back to their God-given assignment. Kasi minsan, na-deviate na, na, na masyado tayo eh. Napapariwara na tayo. Marami tayong ginagawa na hindi naman talaga purpose na natin. And that is why God is bringing us back, aligning us back to our purpose. That's why He is allowing these circumstances and this crisis para magising po tayo sa katotohanan na ang totoong fulfillment is when we start doing our purpose. And when we start doing our purpose, our potential is maximized. Amen? We each were endowed at birth with a unique gift. Tayo pong lahat, panahon na pinanganak tayo sa mundo, meron po tayong mga unique gift. May unique gift ka na talagang unique lang para sa'yo. Para sa'yo lang yan. Something we were born, born to do or become that no one else can achieve the way we can. Alam mo ba't binigyan ka ng Lord ng purpose na yan? Kasi alam ng Lord, ikaw lang ang makakagawa niyan. Kung hindi mo gawin ang purpose mo, unfortunately, wala pong iba ang makakagawa niyan. You know why it is very important to do your purpose? Because, because there's no other people in this world that can do the way you can. May mga bagay na ikaw lang ang kayang gumawa. The way God designed you to be. Kasi each person is unique. Eh. Kaya I always say this. Don't try to be somebody you are not called to do. Kaya napaka masama talaga yung comparing yourself with others. Eh. Kasi his success is different from your success. And his assignment is different from your assignment. 
Parang kino-compare mo ang grade 1 sa grade 6. Tama? Hindi mo pwedeng i-compare ang trabaho ng engineer sa trabaho ng doktor. Kasi magkakaiba nga sila ng assignment eh. And you cannot criticize each other kasi nga magkakaiba kayo eh. And you cannot compare yourself sa iba na hindi mo pwedeng usahin puti pa siya, ganyan, ganyan yung ano niya, ganyan yung buhay niya. Eh, kapatid, magkaiba tayo ng calling eh. Magkaiba kayo ng purpose. Yung success niya iba. Yung success mo iba. Kaya there's no point of feeling bad If the life that other people are living is not the life you are living, kasi nga, iba-iba naman tayo ng purpose eh. Iba ang definition ng success ng Lord sa kanya, iba din ang definition ng success ng Lord sa iyo. So, real success is when you compare yourself, not to others, but when you compare yourself to the plan of God for your life. Ayun. Doon mo i-evaluate ang sarili mo. I-evaluate mo ang sarili mo according to God's plan. Lord, nagawa ko na ba? No? Huwag mong tinan yung kapitbahay mo. Saglit lang. Yung kapitbahay ko, meron na siyang, uh, meron na siyang 75 inch na LED TV. Hindi pwede. Dapat meron akong 76 inches. Dapat lalamang ako ng 1 inch. <laughs> para, mas, para masabi ko, na mas ma, mas successful ako. Talagang nilamangan ng one inch ano. I'm just trying to make it parang uh, parang very down to earth na illustration. Pero the point is don't compare your uh, other people's success with your beginning or with your uh, or with your process. For all you know, no? nasa process ka pa. And isa pa, yung success niya, hindi rin yung magiging success mo. Kasi iba yung sa kanya eh. At iba rin yung sa'yo. And each of us are unique. Pakisabi nga sa baba, unique tayo kapatid. <laughs> May kanya-kanya po tayong specific purpose. May kanya-kanya tayong specific call from the Lord. Amen? Amen? So, what we can do is be happy with other people's success. I mean, be genuinely happy. Be genuinely happy of other people's success. Kasi, all you know, you are already successful because you are doing what God is asking you to do. Amen? Like, for example, no, sa ako po, sa sarili ko, no, I have several classmate, classmates during high school na right now is uh, literally no uh, making making big income i have classmates owning already their own companies and uh, big companies that has literally no, um, clients all over the world and mo uh, multi, multi may mga kaibigan pa may mga classmate po ako na mga multinational company na ang uh, multinational na company nila I have classmates working abroad already and working in big companies big big tech tech companies and i have friends that are already so successful in their own way and also oh, like uh, mga peers na working in this and that and that. so p- pwedeng pwede mong isipin na ano yun na buti pa sila buti pa sila samantalang ako samantalang ako dito hindi pa sure no, kung magkaka-income pa ba ako no Samantala nga ako, parang ang layo na nang naabot nila, pero pag ako parang wala pa rin, parang nandito lang. I tell you, there could be lots of reasons na pwede akong hindi maging masaya. Pero alam ko, yung success nila, eh yun yung pwedeng, yun yung talaga ang pinapagawa ng Lord sa kanila. Kaya alam niyo po ba? No? I, don't, I don't even feel that way. You know why? I always compare myself to God's call for me, to God's purpose for me. And I will evaluate myself along that line. And I will ask and I will see, Lord, nagawa ko na ba? Nagawa ko na ba yung pinapagawa niyo? Kasi real success is when you do what God asked you to do. 
Amen? Yan po yung totoong success. Yung nagawa mo na ba ang pinapagawa ng Lord sa'yo? Huwag mong gawin yung bagay na hindi pinapagawa ng Lord sa'yo. Di ba nalala nyo yung sinabi ko? Another tragedy is being successful at the one thing that God did not ask you to do. Successful ka nga, pero hindi naman pinagawa ng Lord sa'yo yun. Natapos mo nga, pero hindi mo naman assignment ang tinapos mo. Tama? Hindi masasabing bang successful ka nun. No? Tinapos mo nga yung assignment mo. Ay, tinapos mo nga yung assignment, pero hindi mo assignment. <laughs> assignment ng kaibigan mo. Amen? Kaya, o, oh, wag mo nang pabayaan mo na yung iba, takbuhin yung race nila. At kung natapos man nila, naging successful man sila, palakpakan mo sila. Maging genuinely happy ka sa success nila. Pero focus ka sa race mo. Kasi you still have to win your race. Eh. And you will only be successful when you finish that race. Just like Paul said. Just like what Paul said, no? I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Yan po dapat yung ating, ano, yung ating hangarin. Hindi po sinabi ni Paul, he has, Paul, he has fought my good fight. He has finished my race. Di ba? How, how Paul would wish siguro na I will fight your good fight. I will finish your race. <laughs> Diba? Like, I always say this to my disciples. No? How I wish, how I pray that I can finish your race for you. No? How I wish that I can fight your battle for you. But unfortunately, I cannot. Because that is your battle. God brought you to that fight. God brought you to that fire because He intended you to come out stronger, to be purified. Kasi may tinuturo siya sa'yo. Amen? Kaya, how I wish, ako po, kami ni Pastor Ramon, how we wish we can fight your battle for you. We were designed to fight our battles. The good thing is, no, we are here praying for you. We are here supporting you. But unfortunately, we cannot run your race. Amen po ba? Unfortunately, we cannot fight your battles. It's your own battle. It's your own race. Kasi nga, again, in the end, it's your reward as well. Your, it's your success ang nakasalalay dyan. That's why the best that we can do is pray for you. Support you. Encourage you to keep on going. Kasi kami din, oh, meron din kaming sariling battle eh, na inaharap. And this fight is our own fight as well. And we may ask for prayers and support from you, but we know at the end of the day, it's our battle. And we have to face this battle. We have to run this race. We have to finish it. Just like Paul, so that in the end we can say, I have fought the good fight. Hindi po, thank you for fighting my good fight. Thank you for, for running my race. Hindi. Sinabi ni Paul, I have fought the good fight. I, ako, I, I have finished the race. I, ako din, I have kept the faith. Kaya hindi mo pwedeng i-blame eh, yung ibang tao kung hindi mo man na finished. Kasi responsibility mo yan. Your own race, your own responsibility. Your own battle, your own responsibility. You cannot keep on blaming others. You have to own up responsibility that that race is yours to run. That fight is yours to fight. And we may ask people to pray for us, to support us. Yes, and we will do that for you. And God will do that with you. But the good thing is, <laughs> when you finish your race, when you, when you win your battles, you can proudly say, by the grace of God 
and for God's glory. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have run the race. I have kept the faith. Amen. So, run your race. Keep the faith. Finish what you have started. Keep on running. Keep on fighting. Keep on believing. Because one day, you will reach the finish line. And I tell you, there's no re there's no incompatible. The joy is incomparable. When you know you have done what you were created. Amen? Yeah, mga kapatid, alam ko mahirap yan. Alam kong hindi madali ang kaharap mong challenge ngayon. Pero takbo lang. Sige lang, takbo lang. Kaya mo yan. Kanya-kanya tayong takbo sa race natin. Amen? Keep on running. Keep on fighting. Keep on moving forward. Kasi wala pong reward na nauna. Ang finish line, ang trophy nasa finish line. Focus your eyes on the prize. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Kasi madidistract ka lang. Sa kakalingon mo, hindi ka makakarating. Focus ka dun sa dulo. At kung mapapagod ka man, Ask God, Lord, I need your strength. And remember, God is running with you. God is running with you. Run your race, and God will run with you. Fight your battles, and God will fight for you. And fight with you. Keep the faith. Amen? Don't feel that you are alone. You may be running your own race, but you are not alone, of course. Because God is running with you. And we are here supporting you in prayer, cheering you up. Come on, you can do it. Amen? Diba? Like for example, in a winning, in a running event, bagamat maraming audience, pero may nakita ka ba na isa-isang competition ng takbuhan kasi natatalo na yung, yung ano mo, yung, yung athlete mo, may nakita ka ba nagbabaan yung mga tao at tinulungan siya para makarating sa finish line? Di ba wala? Kasi alam natin, alam ng mga audience, kung sino yung tumatakbo, yan yung fight niya. And the best that we can do is to cheer them. Come on, go, go, go. You can do it. Ganun din sa basketball o anong, anong anong sport, di ba? Yung mga players lang ang pwedeng pumunta sa court. Hindi pwede yung mga fans bababa at babantayan yun. O tulungan na kita. Hindi mo kaya tulungan kitang bantayan yung kalaban. <laughs> Di ba lang ganun? Kasi, ganun nila yan eh. Battle nila yan. But the best that we can do is cheer them up. Come on, kaya mo yan. And that is my role. That is our role. <coughs> to encourage everyone. Yeah, I am here being your cheer cheerleader right now. Kapatid, kaya mo yan. Come on. We are here counting on you. Come on. We are telling you. Come on. You can you can win this race. You can win this battle. Come on. Takbo ka lang. No, kung nanghihina ka, you can do it. Huwag kang mag-give up. Keep on running. We are here right behind you, praying for you, cheering on you, and knowing no, that you will eventually reach the finish line. Keep on running and know and believe that we are behind you, supporting you in prayer and sending you up. And God is, is running with you as well. Amen? Pakisabi, pakisabi sa baba, takbo kapitid! <laughs> takbo lang! Huwag, huwag matakot, huwag malungkot, takbo ka lang. Kasama mo si Lord sa pagtakbo. Amen? Why don't we pray? Father, we thank you for this morning. I pray ang bawat isa po will continue to run the race and will not give up. I pray, Lord, na alam po namin na hindi po madali itong crisis po namin na kaharap po namin ngayon. But Lord, we have to simply just trust you, Lord God. At sa umaga pong ito, Panginoon, ang bawat isa na nandito ngayon na nanghihina, Lord, bigyan niyo po sila ng lakas. 
sa bawat isa po na don't doesn't have the strength to to move to keep on running lord give them the strength right now to keep on running focus on the finish line to to, to not look to the left or to the right but keep on their gaze focused on you and i pray that the wind of the holy spirit will carry us until we reach the fulfillment of our purpose Father, we surrender ourselves to you. I pray that every one of us will continually do what we're created to do. Lord, we honor you. We praise you in Jesus' name.
Amen. Indeed, we're going to sing even if we are going through the middle of the storm. Amen. Good morning, good morning po sa lahat. Sa lahat po ng uh, kakatunin lang. Good morning po sa inyo. At to those who have been with us since kanina, I'm keep on fighting your battle. Keep on running your race. Your purpose, fulfilling your purpose gives you fulfillment. Amen. And if you have just, if you have just tuned in, don't worry. Af- right after we go live, marireplay nyo po agad ito. Okay? Para later on, ay ma- ma- catch up nyo po yung word na inanda ng Lord para sa ating lahat. Amen? Right now po, we're gonna be applying the blood of Jesus as we keep on praying to those, our brothers and sisters who are sick. Apply po natin yung blood ni Jesus, mga kapatid, sa ating sarili, sa ating mga pamilya. And remember, there's power in the blood of Jesus. So I want you to say this with me, declare this with me, and let's claim the healing of the blood of Jesus in our lives. Say this with me, by the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed. I have been rescued from the power of the enemy. Satan does not have any power over my life because I have been set free from his dominion and have been translated into the kingdom of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, all of my sins have been forgiven. By the blood of Jesus, I am renewed because I walk in the light. The blood of Jesus is cleansing me now and continuously of all sin. By the blood of Jesus, I am made righteous. God sees me as if I have never sinned. By the blood of Jesus, I am made holy. Lord Jesus, thank you for your blood because now it testifies on my behalf. It rebukes the dragon, the old serpent, the demons, the forces of wickedness, the blood of Jesus itself. It rebukes sickness. It rebukes oppression. It rebukes the curse. It rebukes anguish. And the evil is cast out of my home, out of my ministry, out of my finances, and out of my life, and out of my family. Now the power of Jesus Christ lives within me. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your blood. And we claim the blessing and the protection and the healing by your blood in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Right now, we will have time to pray for one another. And I believe it's been quite some time na hindi po natin nagagawa ito. Kaya if you have any prayer request, I want you to write it down. Uh, write it down down below. And after you have written your prayer request, there's a prayer request above you and below you. And I want you to pray for those two people. And make sure po that you reply to their prayer request and let them know that you have already done praying for them. Come on, as I play a worship song, I want you to keep on praying for one another and let's believe that by the blood of Jesus, we are healed and keep on uh, keep on declaring, keep on applying the blood of Jesus and keep on believing that lahat po tayo ay papagalingin ng Lord. Amen? Come on, begin to write down your prayer requests and begin to pray for one another. your mind you've always been with us every battle you've already won oh we've already won hey there is no weapon that has ever left a mark on you and there is no
my fear, I will turn into praise. Hey. Shake off despair as I sing out your name. A victory dance, I will dance out in faith. He will crush disappointment and break every chain. All of my fear, I will turn into praise. Shake off despair as I sing out your name. Yes, Lord, Father, right now we pray for those who are sick with COVID, especially those <coughs> whose family are infected, Panginoon. Lord, kami po'y naniniwala talaga, Lord God, that by your blood, they are healed. Lord, sa lahat po na nakikinig ngayon na infected with COVID, ina-apply po namin ang dugo niyo sa kanila and kiniklaim po namin that by your blood, they are healed. By your stripes, they are healed right now in Jesus' name. Lalo na po yung mga Kap, ka, ka, kapatiran, kaibigan at kakilala po namin na nasa ICU and really battling COVID, Father, right now. Na yung critical ang kondisyon. I pray na bigyan niyo po sila ng miraculous touch niyo, Panginoon. In the name of Jesus, Lord, reach them out supernaturally by your hands and by your blood, declaring supernatural healing upon them in the name of Jesus. Sa lahat po, Uh, sa pamilya po ngayon, Panginoon, na nagka-COVID, na bumababa po yung oxygen, I pray that in the name of Jesus, Lord, heal them right now sa pangalan ni Jesus. Lord, I pray specifically for the cities that are in critical condition. I pray, Panginoon, for your power to supernaturally just intervene, Lord God, in this situation. Lord, kailangan po namin ang grace nyo. Kailangan po namin ang blood nyo. Kailangan po namin ang healing nyo. Lord, we are pleading your blood. Lord, shed your blood and uh, we apply your blood upon everyone, Panginoon, and upon every city, every barangay, every household that is infected with COVID. In Jesus' name, let your healing come upon those families who are infected right now in Jesus' name. At sa lahat po, sa amin na pwedeng ma-expose at na-expose man, Panginoon, we pray Uh, for the covering of your blood, we are asking, Lord God, that your blood is healing us, protecting us, 
and blessing us right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for those uh, other sickness nga na ini-experience po ng mga anak nyo. I declare healing to be upon them. Bless them right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' name. Yung may mga kidney problem, may mga sakit sa puso, may mga lifestyle diseases like cardiovascular disease, hypertension, um, heart problems, and whatever, Lord God, like stroke even, Lord God, I pray for healing to be upon them in the name of Jesus. Apply your blood upon them and declaring by your blood, they are healed. Lord, sa lahat po na may mga skin diseases, I pray that you heal them right now in Jesus' name. <coughs> sa lahat po na <coughs> hindi makalakad, ina-apply po namin ang dugo nyo and claiming that by your blood, they are healed. And sa lahat po ng mga may respiratory problems, Lord, claiming that by your blood, they are healed as well in the name of Jesus. Lord, lifting up to you continually our pastors, si Pastor Cesar, si Pastor Claudia, and their family, Bishop Oriel, Pastor Geraldine, and their family, and the Huldulas family. Lifting up to you all the National 12 and their family, and all the pastors in the vision, all the pastors that we are helping and their family as well. Applying your blood upon them, keep them safe, keep them protected. Lord, declaring anointing, more of your anointing upon their life. And Lord, lifting up to you our cities and our nation, Panginoon. I pray for our leaders. Give them continually wisdom. I pray, Father, na for more wisdom. And also, Lord God, I pray that you continually protect them as well so para po magampanan po nila ang, kanilang, ang ilang tungkulin. We pray for the rest of the Filipinos to continue, continually, Lord God, be uh, maging, ano po, maging uh, maging follower ng mga rules, follower ng mga law, law ng bansa para po mas maging orderly ang bansa po namin at mas maging uh, ma 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 mapagtagumpayan po namin itong crisis na ito. And we pray, Lord God, for the rest of us Filipinos that your your grace and your blood will continually cover us and will reach us at the point of our needs. Lord, lifting up to you, myself, uh, my family, Lord God, si Pesora Monel, our kids, si Jaden, si Via, si Yeda, our um, parents, Lord God, si Mama Angie, si Mama Merge, si Papa Ver, and, and our brothers. I pray that you bless them. I pray that you heal them sa kanilang mga karamdaman. I declare good health to be upon all of us. I am declaring, Lord God, long life so that we can continually do our purpose effectively. And Lord, I pray for more success, more favor, more breakthrough in Jesus' mighty name. And sa lahat po na nandito ngayon, declaring special favor. Uh, all their needs are met right now in Jesus' name. And I pray po, Panginoon, na whatever uh, struggles they may be facing right now, whatever fire they may be running in right now, I pray that you go with them continually. You let them feel that you are running the race with them. And you let them feel your power, Lord God, moving in their lives. Salamat po, Panginoon. Declaring healing sa lahat po. Again, once again, sa lahat po na may karamdaman ngayon. We just want to thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Good morning, good morning po sa lahat. Okay, I believe um, niloloadan na po namin kanina yung mga hindi pa naloloadan sa mga nanalo ng ating loads of hope. But right now, uh, before po tayo magtapos, ano po, uh, pupunta po tayo sa ating loads of hope. So sa lahat po nang ready na, uh, let us know in the comment section kung ready ka na ba. Ready ka na ba kapatid? Are you still there? Nandiyan ka pa ba? <laughs> sa lahat na nang ready na, let us know. If you are ready, para tuloy-tuloy po tayo sa ating loads of hope. Okay, nandiyan pa ba kayo? Are you ready? Are you ready? Sige, hintayin po natin. Kasi medyo delayed pa. Uh, may lag pa konti. Okay, may ready na, ready na. Okay, first question. First question po natin. Ano po ang pangalan ng pamangkin ni Abraham? What is the name of the pamangkin? The nephew of Abraham. Okay. Yung pamangkin po. <clears throat> okay, the right answer is Lot. Lot po ang pangalan ng pamangkin ni Abraham. 
And the uh, first commenter, first na nag-answer na tama ay si Sister Maria Luz Maniago. Congratulations po sa inyo. Tama po ang sagot nyo. Kayo po ang nanalo ng pangalawang 50 pesos load. Okay, pangalawang tanong, pangalawang tanong. If ang unang pangalan ni Abraham is Abraham, ano po yung pangalan na binigay sa kanya ng Lord, yung bagong pangalan niya? Diba, yung unang pangalan niya, Abraham. Ano po yung pangalawang pangalan o pinalit sa pangalan ni Abraham? Okay. And the right answer is Abraham. Si Abraham po at ang pinakaunang nakasagot ay si Joel. Congratulations, Joel. You are the third winner of 50 pesos for today. Good job sa iyo. Okay, pangatlong tanong. Third question of the day. Okay, magdut lang ha. Okay. Fill in the blanks muna tayo. Fill in the blanks. Okay. Ang ating verse po, sadit lang. Masahin ko po muna. Uh, chap Genesis chapter 12 verse 2 Fill in the blanks I will make you into a great blank And I will bless you I will make your name great And you will be a blessing Genesis chapter 12 verse 2 I will make you into a great blank And I will bless you I will make your name great And you will be a blessing NIV version po Ang sinabi ko Ang binasa ko Okay Ano po yung sagot? The right answer is nation. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you and I will make your name great nation po ang tamang sagot. Sino po yung unang nakasagot? Gay Resma watching sa YouTube. Yan. Si Gay Resma po ang tamang sagot. Nasa YouTube po siya. Nanonood. <laughs> Mas mabilis ata ang sa YouTube. Okay, tama, tama ang sagot mo, Gay. And you are the winner of the fourth 50 pesos load. Okay, so last question, last question. Fill in the blanks again. Fill in the blanks, one word po ito. Don't blank your problems, but blank God instead. Don't blank your problems, but blank God instead. Ano po yung letter M po ang simula ng word na yan. Okay. Don't blank your problems, but blank God instead. Okay, the right answer is magnify. Magnify po yun. Don't magnify about your problems, or don't magnify your problems, but magnify God instead. Okay, magnify po ang tamang sagot. Sino po yung unang nakasagot ng magnify? Si Christine Manyago Abanilia. Congratulations po sa inyo. Congratulations sa lahat ng nanalo at pasensya na po sa mga hindi nanalo. Uh, mananalo din kayo one day. But really, tayong lahat naman po ay winner dito sa Morning of Hope at sa lahat po na nakaka-receive ng mga promises ng Lord sa buhay nila. Winner po tayo lahat. Amen? Maraming salamat once again for tuning in and joining us every single day dito sa Mornings of Hope. Send your numbers sa dito sa Facebook page or kay Jun Ray po para maloodan po namin agad kayo. God bless you mga kapatid. Remember, we only given one life to live. Let's make it count for Jesus. Mamaya nga pala, meron po tayong uh, Lifeline Interactive with Pastora Munel, The Power of a Praying Couple. Mamaya po yan, alas 7 ng gabi. Don't miss that. no? Make sure na hindi nyo po mamiss yan. Powerful po yung tinuturo ni Pastora Munel sa Lifeline. Balik na po tayo ng Lifeline kaya no, we are excited for that as well. So kita-kita po tayo mamaya sa Life, Life, Lifeline Interactive with Pastora Munel. And ingat po. God bless you. See you again mamaya and tomorrow. Bye-bye.
I've carried a burden for too long. Now. I wasn't created to bear it all. I hear your invitation to let it all go. I see. for my